Breakfast with Cobb Colvin. Trickstar Radio. All right, then we are live on Trickstar Radio. I'm joined this morning by Tear Talks. How are you doing? You all good? All good. Fabulous <laughs> stuff. It's good to see. Now, obviously, you've had a bit of a, a busy period of time, um, and we're going to get into Outlook. I do really want to talk about Outlook because it just looks amazing, and I'm, I'm very kind of jealous of everyone who went. <laughs> um, but one thing I do want to kind of touch on, obviously, and we kind of touched on it very, very briefly at the minute. Now, obviously, um, I want to talk kind of like female representation in grime and in UK music in general. Now, obviously, as like a, a working professional within this industry doing like a, quite a specific task, do you, do you feel at this moment in time um, female representation is where it should be? Um, it's, it's on the right path, I believe. Um, I think with the right females coming into m- the music industry as a whole, um, grime in itself, you know, there's still work to go there. But I think with, you know, women like Rebecca Judd as presenters, you know, you've got Snoochie and Maya, um, even even people like Fresh Star, DJs, you know, these female DJs in ground. Like we need these people. And, and the thing about these people that, these women, sorry, that are coming in now is they have a voice and they, they will make sure that you hear what they have to say. Yeah. Um, like people, women now are not, standing down to and being told you know you can do this and you can do that like we're breaking boundaries and we're doing things that we couldn't do before so yeah it's good to see even in camera even in camera work you know that that's what, what would you, in camera work what would you say the kind of like ratio is at the minute <clears throat> um a lot more women and females are doing media and camera stuff than than before um even if you look at like film history and stuff it's a very male dominated field uh, and i think again as it's this kind of rise of the creative in this day and age now um i like the term rise of the creative, yeah, rise rise of the creative. creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can't hold back females anymore you yeah. know we're, we're here to be heard um we all come together as one and you know we have similar struggles and yeah we just unite and are moving forward forward in music and all and I, f- I think it's wicked to see man like i'm seeing it more and more from like here obviously like I'm, when i'm when i'm trying to like get and um, work out what guests i'm couple, like who's, who's the best guest to get in i'm yeah. seeing it's a lot more kind of like I, i'm trying to spread it as much as possible i'm yeah. trying to get um so a lot more balance and it's a lot, lot like it's a difficult thing to do you know yeah. what i mean and it's um it's it's enjoyable to kind of open your eyes to um like in, has have you like found um there's you've had any work kind of like blocks or anything like that for um being 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 a woman working in, in the scene rather than um, rather than men blocked no because i think i've got some real like powerful men who respect women like on my side like someone like p money for example you know um any issue that i have with certain certain things that i've had like i've put out tweets in the past and i've had that certain powerful males reach out and be like do you need my help because you know that we can help um you know if there's someone that's troubling you or making you feel uncomfortable then just let us know because you know these are kind of like gatekeepers of the scene in a way um but you know, I've ha- I wouldn't say that I've had anyone try to block me. I don't think that is possible because yeah. God willing, I will get where I need to go. <laughs> but um, I will say that I have had m- men try to intimidate me. But um, you know, I- where I come from and where I have grown up, the way I've grown up, you know, I'm born and raised in Croydon. Like, it's nothing new to yeah, me, yeah. you know. Um, so I-, I feel like I'm at a position where I, I can handle it, um, and I- I'm. It's- it doesn't come as a surprise to me. It's not going to scare me, you know. I-, I won't let a man come on a set that I'm paid to film and intimidate at me and make me feel uncomfortable um I've, I've had people leave like i've had people leave sets before because i've said no you need to go i, I can't so <laughs> wow well that's, it's good it's good to hear though and i am obviously it's something we, we're really trying to push towards and kind of like move towards um where, where it's not even seen as a thing obviously that's, yeah. that's 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 the scenario we're trying to get to i believe um so um obviously you're at outlook as well yeah um like before we get into like how just how good outlook was like yeah. how did you find the kind of um did you, did you feel there was enough representation um, I felt like there could have been more grime wise um, in terms of you, you know when, when I come to think about it now, like Amy Becker did um, the clearing which was the main stage and she she shut it down she did unreal I've, I've seen a couple oh, of I've seen a couple I of videos I loved her set it was unreal um, you know I mean there was this um, Canadian girl I think they pronounced her name Kiva um, she she they do kind of like bass and they did a tunnel party in um, Deep Dark and Dangerous a lot really really good yeah how, I mean, how were Deep Dark and Dangerous sorry to interrupt no, but how, how so, were Deep Dark and oh Dangerous gosh, I love it li- I, I, I get their stuff through on Juno a fair bit so it's like I, whenever I see it I'm like <gasps> yeah they're unbelievable I mean, there, there was females there, but I feel like they they could do better. You know, we had Lucy and Sherelle in the tunnel party. Um, there was females, but again, you know, there's 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 more males. You know, yeah. there's there's always more males. It seems to be that way. And, and grime wise, I think you know, there was only really Lost Soldier who was really doing it for the girls. Um, you know, and there's a lot more female talent in the pool. So come on, yes. <laughs> Outlook, come on, <laughs> Outlook 2020, come on. <laughs> um, yeah, I've heard, I've heard there. Um 
obviously it's, it's the last year of the thing I've heard a couple of rumours that it's going to be like take a couple of years out um, I've, I've, oh. heard, I've heard rumours of a couple of years out I've heard rumours of Portugal yeah. I've heard rumours of Albania as well like for the new location um, so before we kind of go into like oh I wonder where it's going to be or anything like that <laughs> like exactly how good was Outlook this year it was unbelievable like it was an experience that I will never forget um, it wasn't the most smooth sailing experience I think for anyone for especially for a lot of the MCs and me doing the camera work there um, DJs who had not been before we was all kind of like wow I've never been to a festival for like three four five days in England so yeah. abroad it was just intense there was a lot of walking there was a lot less eating than I would have <laughs> um, hoped a lot less sleeping you know it was like you get home have a couple hours sleep wake up right this person's set now off we go get the taxi so <laughs> and then you're not back for another seven hours so it's just non-stop really actually I'm hearing that maybe I'm getting old but I'm hearing that and going it just sounds so tiring <laughs> honestly so. I'm 20 and I'm like get me home get my <laughs> cup of tea I had a whole box of chamomile tea and I went through the whole box in about five days like, but when you were out there yeah <laughs> I needed my relaxation I was going to say that, that's a stroke of genius yeah. to, like, take, to take that to, to the but obviously if you're going camping it's like a more thing but I mean, most people stay in hotels don't they Um. yeah I mean I I looked at the campsite and I thought wow like the, there was really bad rain for a few of the days and like thunderstorms intense and I just thought the camp would have flooded that like, it would have been a lot yeah like <laughs> so, a lot a lot yeah I mean I was grateful for my little my little retreat my little apartment which was nice so yeah <laughs> nice uh, so who would be your highlight who was the DJ who was the not even DJ as much but who what was the like standout performance for you okay I'm sure everyone who is there will agree with me on this because everyone I've spoken to says the same thing Sir Spyro's boat party oh my god unbelievable yeah. unbelievable the energy there was just like there was people queuing up to get on that boat that didn't even have tickets and the boat left the harbour and we all waved goodbye <laughs> and we just went and had the best time like everyone was on a good vibe I mean backstage people was mosh pitting out the front on the boat people was mosh pitting the boat was rocking left to right <laughs> uh, you got MCs like Mike of course just running and jumping in the mosh pit <laughs> it's just like it was it was unbelievable it was the best time yeah that was a highlight just because you know Spyro um he's just got bare tunes just, in a just, locker you know what it is as well it's just like effortlessly good yeah it just that's, that's it what? was it was just perfection from start to finish my friend cried <laughs> really yeah my friend M she she had tears in her eyes the set was so good that's amazing <laughs> yeah that's amazing right we're going to jump into this one next from uh, Tiwa Savage and we'll be back in uh, just a minute to kind of look at like what, what the future holds um, and what we're going to be getting into in the in the near future we are live on Trickstar Radio do not go anywhere we're inside the building with Tear Talks waking up Brighton breakfast with Cobb Cole Mm-hmm. 